Hello guys and welcome to our new program called Questions and Answers. Our main aim is to get to know our teachers better and our first guest will be the math teacher from the UK, Mr. Neil. Let's go. Hello, how are you doing? I'm very good, thanks. And you, how are you? I'm great, thanks. So, shall we begin? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Why have you decided to move to Kazakhstan? Very good question. I um, lived in Saudi Arabia for 21 years, where it's very, very hot. That's impressive. And I just decided I wanted something that was a little cooler. So, Kazakhstan seemed a lot cooler. So, something very, very different. And what do you think about this weather? Uh, oh, it's <laughs> beautiful at the moment, actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm told it gets cold, but I don't believe it. Oh, you, ju you just have to wait, you just <laughs> have to wait. Every teacher says that at the beginning. All right, um, so what do you think about our school so far? So far, so good, actually. I really enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy all the, um, the students that I teach. And at least I get fed, because I never cook at home. Uh, so I get fed at lunchtime, and then I can get a few packets of crisps uh, to eat in the evening. So it's great. I really enjoy it. So you really enjoy our canteen? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I enjoy the bits of pizza and the coffees and yeah, uh, the lunchtime as well. Yeah. All right, great. And uh, as far as I know, you're from Great Britain, right? The That's UK. Right, yeah. So, um, for some of our students that don't that are not really familiar with your country, what can you tell it about the UK? The UK, um, it rains a lot. It's not particularly cold. Um, we're great at football. Absolutely great at cricket. There's some very famous football clubs. Of course, Chelsea is the best football club. Oh, well, I don't think so. Well, I'll have to. How about it. Manchester United? No, they're rubbish. Uh, <laughs> So right. yeah, very famous for invent. We, we play lots and lots of sports. We invent all the games and then we lose at them. So fair enough. Yeah, uh, the great country, lots of history, beautiful countryside. It's a, a wonderful place. How about the tea? We drink <laughs> a lot of tea at four o'clock, of course. So oh, uh, and cucumber sandwiches at that time as well. So. All right. Uh, so another question would be: You told us that you've studied in Saudi Arabia. No, I didn't study. I, oh, I worked. In yeah, you worked. Yes. So, um, could you tell us anything about it? It's pretty hot. Uh, like when I left there back in July, it was like 57 degrees. And uh, uh, the difference is there, everything is air conditioned. So, um, you don't feel the heat anywhere near as much apart from when you're walking from your car to the buildings. Uh, that must be frustrating. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, but it's kind of very modern. Um, lots and lots of money in Saudi Arabia as well. Um, I mean, they say you've been in Saudi Arabia too long when you forget that seeing a Lamborghini is unusual. <laughs> and, you know, there are streets you drive down in Saudi Arabia where, you know, there's a Lamborghini there, there's a Ferrari there, there's a Porsche there, you know, so they're brilliant cars. Well, I hope someday we'll see something like, like that in Kazakhstan. Hopefully. I think so. Hopefully. And uh, as far as I know, you told us that you've studied for the royal family, is that right? Yep, I was teaching many of the royal family. I mean, the, the royal family in Saudi is pretty big. There are about 40,000 princes and princesses. But um, I've t taught, I used to teach the king's daughter um, and many other of the, the royals, the, the high up royals. So. Unbelievable. The king's daughter. It is, yeah, the king's daughter, yes. I feel proud because I'm like, this is the closest that I can get to some royals, to some kings and stuff. So yeah, thank you, you very you much. My hand, yeah, can, can I touch again? Yeah, that's right. That have you sh shaken your hand of the and king? I've sh not the king, no. Not the king. Uh, no. The crown prince, I have. Yes. Still. Yeah. So you've. I feel proud right now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so now that we talked about the school and the, your background, I. We want to know about your own, yourself, your personality. So, can you characterize yourself in five words? Live life to the full. Live life to the full. Yeah, I had to think about that. Me, me too. Um, all right, so uh, I just want to ask, do you have any hobbies? Hobbies? Yeah. Um, I play the piano. Uh, I love playing cricket, even though I'm not very good at it, uh, and rugby as well. Rugby. And I enjoy travel, uh, I enjoy 
uh, listening to music as well as playing it. Um, and I love going out for good food as well. Oh yeah, everyone loves that, yeah, I'm sure. That's right. And about uh, cricket, no one really knows about cricket in Kazakhstan. Do you think you might, you know, show off some skills to Kazakh? I can try, I'm pretty rubbish again at it. But um, yeah, I'd certainly like to bring over a cricket bat and see if I can teach people over here what cricket is all about. What, why do you like cricket more than, let's say, football or basketball? Well, how does it differ? Right, cricket it's like a team game, but when you're there facing the, the ball, ball coming to you at like 90 miles per hour, it's not a team game, you're on your own. So it's got qualities of like individualism and also team games as well. And it's very civilized as the game of cricket. So, uh, can I say that it's kind of like a British version of baseball? No. Uh, no, baseball no, no. is maybe a, an American version of cricket. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And so about the piano and music. So you're kind of like a very uh, musical person. What kind of to genres do you to enjoy to listen? Uh, to mainly classical music. Classical. Uh, so Mozart's my favorite composer, but I enjoy Beethoven and other obscure composers like Hummel and Kalkbrenner and things like that. No rap? Rap? No, I don't consider that to be music. Really? Why not? <laughs> Come on. Because there's no music in it. it. You might be really surprised. I, maybe I'd, after the interview I might have to show you some new tracks. Okay. <laughs> I'd be interested. In How about Kazakh music? Uh, I can't say I've been here long enough to know very much Kazakh music. But again, I'd be interested in it. So. What can you tell us about your childhood? Like, Oh gosh, that's a long time ago for me to remember actually, isn't it? Um, I lived in the southeast of England, a place called Henyon Thames, which is not too far from London. Um, so you're kind of like the, from the capital? Close to the capital, yeah. Right. And then from there I moved up to the north of England, up to somewhere called Yorkshire. And I lived there for another like 10 years or so. That's impressive. Yeah. And um, so, as I understood, you just lived, you basically lived in England and then moved to Saudi, and that's it? No, uh, from um, England I worked for eight years in a school in, uh, in the southeast of England. Then I moved over to Turkey. Turkey? And worked for six months in Turkey and uh, had a great time working there in a school there. Do you remember um, anything like the local language or something like that? Yeah, I do. I, I speak a little Turkish. Not oh, really? Much, yeah. Wow. Um, Did you know that Turkish is kind of similar to Kazakh? Oh, really? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so maybe. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Like, um, if you say like Bon Appetito, have, enjoy your food in, in Turkish, Afiyet Olsun, and like, it's very similar. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. similar. In, in so uh, maybe by the end of the year, we might see you speaking Kazakh. With local Hopefully. guys? Hopefully I'll try my best. Yes. Yeah, sure. So, uh, speaking of which, here is our music room. So, uh, it has a piano inside. So, maybe you'll like to show us some skills. I can try. All right, let's try. go. All right, guys, we're in the music room and Mr. Neil is going to play us some song. Okay, The Entertainer by Scott Joplin. So. I could rap on this piano song. <laughs> right. <laughs> you could. <laughs> yeah, of course. All right, now shall we move on? Right, let's do so. Yeah. Okay, so uh, one of the last questions I always wondered why did you choose to become a teacher? Like, for, I asked just basically every teacher. Mm. Um, I 
actually when I first left university I went to so into something called actuarial work which is working out insurance policies, probabilities of people dying and it was literally dead boring. But before that I'd been a, a camp counsellor uh, in summer camps in America and I just enjoyed working with children. So um, it seemed like a much better thing to do. I, when, when I was working as an actuary, I used to go into work and say, you know, what time is it, when am I going home? Whereas here, I never look at my watch. I, I thoroughly enjoy everything I do. And I have done from the moment I went into teaching. Yeah, I think that's really great when you, when you, when you don't necessarily go to a job, but you just do something that you like, you know. Yeah, and you get paid for that, so that's a bonus. Well, I've been very lucky. I mean, Saudi Arabia is very generous to me, so very few teachers were in like, the position that I'm in. Um, but, as you say, working with the royal family was good, and that was actually yeah. very beneficial. I wish I could work with the royal family. You know, maybe you have some contacts left. Uh, Got one or two, yeah. We'll that's talk about it after the video. That's right. Okay, uh, another question would be, what in your opinion are the best qualities of teacher or the qualities that teachers need? Um, enthusiasm for their subject. Uh, I also think that teachers teaching a subject should know the subject back to front. Um, uh, an understanding, uh, mutual respect is very very important in teaching so you need to be able to you know, respect the children and if the, you respect the children hopefully they'll respect you back. Um, patience, um, lots of understanding and you know putting yourself in the uh, position of a student as well saying you know why is this so difficult you, and you know perhaps understanding having empathy with the students knowing why they struggle with some of the concepts. Okay. Well that's a good answer I should say but <laughs> pretty uh, comprehensive answer. Yeah yeah but and one of the last questions is obviously you've already said that you work with the royal family and that's a great achievement. But do you have something else, some achievements that you're really proud of in your life? Ah, uh, gosh. Um, I took my master's degree when I was working in Saudi Arabia. Um, and that I was doing when I was having, I had a full-time job and to actually achieve getting a master's degree was pretty good. Um, physical things, I mean, I'm into lots of um, like, uh, endurance hiking and things like that. I've hiked from one side of England to the other. Um, like, wait, actually from the whole... Yeah, yeah, I've done that five times. Five times, And that's times. like wow. 320 kilometers. The fastest I did it took me about eight days to walk from one side of England to the other. Um, and yeah, that's, that's good actually, although you know, my feet were sore at the end of it. Wow. But that's, it's a great achievement. And I've taken lots of students doing the same thing. And you know, them in their young lives doing such an achievement, they've, they've come away and said, oh wow, I've walked from one side of the country to the other. That's great. And it's a great, you know, it's, it's a great experience. That's healthy say. also. Yeah, it is, yeah. Do you think we, you could take some students to, you know, maybe cross the entire Kazakhstan? <laughs> um, if they've got a couple of years, yeah. <laughs> um, maybe take them across England, I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, you, know, so, you know, physical challenges like that, I think, are, are great. Uh, I think it's not only the physical, but the mental one. Yeah, you know, to actually, you know, force yourself to do something. I think yeah. that's, that's, right. that's great. Uh, Mr. Neil, thank you very much. I had great pleasure interviewing you. And for you guys, please like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bring it back.